I was surfing the internet and I came across this video from EKK Curates titled The New Drug That's Taking Over the Internet and I knew damn well that I had to see it. So he basically explains how people on TikTok are actually making videos of them smoking these gas canisters and losing their shit. What's your name? Where you from? Well, I'm not I'm from the, the wet, you know, down the street, man. Come on. Hold it, bro. And upon hearing the drug name, I felt an overwhelming urge to make this video so that people could learn some of the implications of taking this drug, mostly because it has severe adverse effects, especially in the adolescents and the pediatric age groups, which are the same age groups that mostly watch these TikTok videos and feel an urge to try these new products, not knowing what they could cause for their body. The drug in question here is actually not at all anything new. It's literally nitrous oxide gas or laughing gas, that's the most well-known name. This gas is used in medical and surgical procedures and used as an anesthetic agent and although it's less potent on its own, it can be combined with other drugs to reach the proper concentration required for the proper anesthetic effect to take place as it causes minimal respiratory depression as well as having a better safety profile than other anesthetic agents. Uh, it has been approved for use as a food additive to generate more foam. And because of this easy availability, we have had people ex exploit this use of this gas as a recreational drug, which have resulted in many deaths throughout the years. So what are the adverse effects of using it? Well, for starters, it's taken in a high enough dose, generally greater than 70% of the required dose for anesthetic purposes, it can prove to be fatal as it can cause respiratory depression, meaning the lungs would not be able to absorb the oxygen from the air that would lead to hypoxia and can also result in cardiac arrhythmias. These things do not usually occur in a safe environment such as a hospital setting because they have trained personnel as well as the proper equipment to handle these things. But we all know that these TikTokers are neither trained personnel nor do they have the proper equipment to use it. They are literally just following a trend that they found online and are now following it nor not realizing how, just how dangerous it can be for an individual, especially if they end up taking it with opioids. As we all know, somebody will try to get a higher kick out of it, which will kick his life out of him. So try to do your own research before following these new trends. 